Hey everyone, welcome to Green London. This is the first video about service registry and service discovery. Okay, so this is pretty much important topic under microservices architecture. When you are implementing microservice in your organization, so service registry and discovery becomes very much important and makes your life easy when you are communicating among services and you are calling the services to get some response. So let's go ahead and see the quick introduction about service registry and discovery and in the following videos we will see the detailed introduction about it and detailed demo about it. Okay, so suppose you have multiple microservices, right? S1, S2, S3, S4, right? So, what happens now? You have to, uh, if you have not service registry and discovery, you have to go to individual services and check the health status whether they are up or not. So, it's, it becomes pretty difficult, right? So, you have to go to the individual services. So, as time passes, microservices in number grows in your organization. So, it's pretty much difficult and the microservices architecture which was supposed to make your life easy is uh, going reverse direction, making your life difficult. So, what happens? You can have some mid midpoint where you can register all of these services, right? Where all of these are communicating and uh, giving the information right whether they are up or not uh, what is status is there right and subsequently when you are the client right as a client you can call this one this service registry and discovery which is another service it's service registry and discovery services gets registered themselves to be this service and client is able to get the status of these individual services with this service that is in the mid right so this is the main function of the service registry discovery right so when he is calling he gets some address of this and using that address this service registry and discovery client can usually call these individual services right and there is more possibility that this service in actual scenario what happens this service s1 has multiple instances right instance 1, instance 2 and INS 3 and so on INS n. So depending on the load that you have in your microservice right. So it, these individual instances status is also reflected at this point at service registry and discovery point. So you can have information about each instance of a particular service also as well as the separate services that are over there right. So this is the brief introduction in the following videos. I am going to give you full architecture and explanation how they are working using Spring Boot. I am going to do the coding and will show you the real life example, right? So I hope you will join me. This is the just quick introduction that I am uploading a uh, new videos. I will be uploading all the videos uh, together so that you do not have to wait for anything, right? So wait for some time. Most probably by next week I will upload upload this, right? So this is all about it, right? So quick introduction about me. This is me. My name is Arvind Kumar. I am working as a senior software developer uh, in a finance domain company and this information working as a senior software developer is at the time of recording this video, right? So I have more than 7 plus years of experience as of now. I am a polyglot programmer. So I love to do the programming in different languages like uh, Java, Kotlin, Groovy and I am also in the process of learning Python and all those stuff, right? So you will, whatever I am learning, I have passion to share my knowledge and the things right so i'll be uploading the videos for uh, uh, all the things that i'm learning and uh, getting something right so spring boot uh, i'm exploring very much that so about those videos you're getting here right so this is the facebook page i have already created this one you can follow me i love to connect there with you all guys right so this is the linkedin page also uh, professionally we can connect also and see see together what we can do right and we can discuss the technical stuff and all those things right so i hope you will join me uh, in the future further videos to learn the service registry and discovery this is the pretty much important in uh, microservices architecture okay so i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye